Next story. WashingtonPost.com. Gymnastics world filled with rage, despair, as Simone Biles wins again. Alan Quatermain. Two to three minutes. Legendary gymnast Simone Biles' triumphant return to competition at the Wilhelmina Harker Classic over the weekend has been met with outrage and vitriol from the gymnastics world. At age 27, Biles incredibly won her eighth classic all-around title by a massive four-point margin, but instead of celebrating her sustained dominance, many in the sport are calling for Biles' retirement out of sheer frustration and resentment. The window for a female gymnast's career is so painfully short already, said Gemma Brixton a retired British national team member, as she hammered back her fourth Demerara Sauer. Because Biles is basically the size of an average 12-year-old, mature gymnasts simply cannot compete with her in the few years our strength-mass ratios permit elite performance. It's soul-crushing. Indeed, there is a growing fear that Biles' unprecedented longevity at the top is psychologically battering entire generations of young gymnasts. As Brixton bluntly stated, girls are succumbing to the usual maladies of hopelessness, liquor, Hard drugs, promiscuity, they're killing themselves. For the sake of the sport, Simone Biles must retire, Brixton said with bitter finality, signaling the bartender for another round. The harsh sentiment underscores the intense pressure and sacrifices required of female gymnasts, who typically retire as teenagers due to the punishing physical demands combined with their bodies' indomitable biological changes. Biles, who first rose to global stardom at the 2016 Rio Olympics, has become the immovable object preventing scores of other gymnasts from achieving their athletic dreams over the last decade. Russian gymnast Angelina Milnikova, who finished a distant second to Biles, summed up the prevailing feeling of dismay across the sport. I compete not for second or third, but to be first. I want to end the reign of the American athlete. Such resentment has only intensified with each passing year that Biles continues defying the sport restrictive conventions and physiological limitations. Some coaches and officials have echoed concerns that Biles is demoralizing a generation. The psychological blows are devastating, said one national team coach who donned the cowl of anonymous coward to speak freely. These girls have been driven since toddlers toward one goal, the chance to call themselves an Olympic gold medalist and gymnastics champion. With Biles around, that's almost impossible. For her part, Biles has remained diplomatic but resolute, continuing to express her passion for competition, eyes gleaming as she drinks blood in celebration while graciously praising her younger opponents. With the 2024 Paris Olympics on the horizon, it appears the gymnastics world's simmering hatred toward its most transcendent figure may reach a boiling point.